Right, this is Sheila. It's uh, FA Cup Day. <clears throat> Manchester City versus Manchester United. This afternoon at three o'clock, but I decided not to watch it. If, if, any, if anything, I prefer Manchester City to win. Anyway, not many of you know where I am at the moment, will you? In this field like this. Well, I've just walked up, around about seven minutes it takes me. I didn't time it, but I know it's roughly seven minutes to walk from the village of Kewstoke. As soon as you leave the village, I start counting the cars. A vehicle, any vehicle apart from bikes. And I counted in seven minutes, 30 vehicles. So that would work out about 240 an hour. Just gentle vehicles. I mean, I have counted nearly a hundred before in seven minutes. I think I just managed to escape perhaps a busy period. Perhaps it isn't going to be so busy because it's the FA Cup. And most men won't want to come out. So anyway, I've I've walked the dangerous bit now. You might say, what, you, what do you mean the dangerous bit? Well, sometimes I get the number 20, number one San Bay bus all the way to the terminal and get off on the beach. But when the cows have the cart in the field, when I usually quite often go through sand farm, past the big silos and then I walk across country, I've got a great feeling the cows I saw a couple of weeks ago with young calves would be progressing further towards the fields I have to cross. And I've had to turn back before because the cows do not like it and they make sure you know they don't like you coming in the field where their calves are. Anyway, I, so as an alternative, I tend to do this in the summer, not just because of cows, but because the path further up is more likely to be dry. It is quite difficult without Wellington boots on to negotiate that path um, in the winter or when there's heavy rain in the spring. Um, anyway, I've, I had a lovely walk on Monday of this week on the Quantox, a beautiful walk. Um, really was a gorgeous, perfect day for walking. And I managed to get Holford in, get up on the hills. I think I found two ticks when I got home, but they were dopey because I put the the repellent on when I was up in the hills and they, they made them dopey so I think they were half dead um, so I thought oh, I'm trying to get in at least one good walk big decent walk a week right and uh, and uh, several medium sized walks well, Sand Bay is always my lifesaver throughout the year. I have been out here in early May. But of course, I, I haven't done this route probably for a year. And it's my quiet reflecting walk. This lovely quiet track. I know you've got the cars you see are people who've got horses out here. There are stables out here and it's a Saturday. A lot of people do the mucking out and all that on at the weekends. But I like this, I like walking along here. It's extremely peaceful. You can hear the birds. I have got a choice in a minute whether I want to go. Oh, there's a car coming. If I want to go left or right. Right, there's a vehicle coming. That's about the fourth vehicle we've had. All right. Thank you. I mean, I do like my cross fields thing. But like I say, it's always a bit disappointing. I, get, I have to cross. I have to sort of make my way. And then I have to turn back. I won't go in the field with calves. 
they're not when they're that close. If they were right on the other side of the field and I knew I could make it to the next gate, yeah, I do. But I do like this walk. Where people come and they come and they look after their horses. And it's just so beautiful, this walk. I'm just going to take a picture. But I've already, five vehicles have already passed me. You will get one or two people who will park near the junction point and go for a walk. But it's not, there's no car parking area um, at all. Now, I'm, I'm not dressed for summer. I've got, still got my winter trousers on. I've got a summer jumper, which in the real summer I hardly wear at all. You know, I hardly wear it. And I've got thinner tops I wear over a t-shirt. Um, <clears throat> but today I've got my very windproof jacket and showerproof coat, very light, packed in my bag. Just in case it got nippy. I didn't bring the scarf. Well, I wanted to, but I forgot it. But I don't need it. The bus was dead on time. Absolutely dead on time. That's where you can buy gardening stuff, plants, and if you want any plants, you come out here if you've got a car. Um, high hedges, they do prune the hedges now and again. And this is sometimes where you get most of the traffic, is because people are coming out here to, to get plants. So if you, you know, you might see a lot more traffic because of that. Now I sometimes walk into the field like this. I'll tell you why. Because you'll sometimes see a heron looking for worms. They do. In the middle of the field. In fact, I can see some sort of grey bird now just over there, but it could be a wood pigeon. Well, I'm going to turn off for a minute. I'll be back on again in a minute when we get to the junction. Right, it's a nice little pond area here. And lots of wild cow parsley as well. Everywhere here. Somebody going along there. Nice little pond area. This is... Um, Yeah, once the wild cow parsley's gone, this is what you call it, sauce spray counter area. The sun's gone in. It's a gentle breeze. Right, one minute. Yeah, I just had to christen the new shoes with a puddle. There was no choice. Now, if it didn't rain for like, it's going to rain tomorrow, see, it's been, there has been rain. It was back there. I had to walk through the middle of that section and it just covered my toe. I think we should be right this bit. We should be right this bit. But it's a good test for it, for its waterproofness. I mean, I never got it wet at all when I was at Holford. I managed to get across the streams. This is another big one. And the cars coming here have to watch out for their exhausts. Yeah, that was a good test for it. Whether it'll weaken it now, I don't know. I don't know if it'll weaken it or not. But I had to sort of walk up through the middle somewhere like that. Right. And go over there like that and then back there. They do clear and tidy all this when they do the when they clear the ditches a bit. 
But it's a lovely view, isn't it? That, for example, that. It's a lovely view, and the horses over there, look. look see the horses? I'm just going to take a picture through there, because it's quite a nice view with the... With the horses like that, isn't it? See, and they've got the water lilies down there, see? It's lovely, isn't it? I love nature. But I say when the cow parsley's out in the buttercups, it's still spring and it's full of hope. And then further up there we got um the priory look up there. I'll just zoom in. Yeah, look at that with the wild garlic, um, with the plant, wild cow parsley. Lovely view, isn't it? Yeah, so that's quite a big puddle. Would have been worse a week ago. I haven't. That's why I haven't come this way. Because to be quite honest, it's um, people are going through the field there, having to balance through the puddle. See, um, they're going through. Actually, you don't have to go near the cows anymore. They've fenced it off near the horses. I mean, they fence that area off. They done it a couple of months ago. Um, so that people can't walk without having to worry the, the um, horses. And sometimes they will do it when, so you don't have to worry about the cows. Because this is very much a cow field here, usually. It does look like it's been munched a bit. But when I get up on the top, I'll be able to look over to see if the cows and the calves are in the field I normally come through when I come from Sand, Sand Bay Farm, back over that way. But it does look like it's been munched, doesn't it? Right, good to enough now. I'm going down the bridal path. Right then, I'm now at the famous bridal path. Now, I haven't put any of my repellent on. I noticed a few midges, but this will be a lot worse in June. They're starting to fly about a bit. But they do maintain the pathway a bit more and try not to go near this plant here because it's got another name apart from wild cow parsley and it can it can be very dangerous to you cause severe blistering I can't remember the name of it now hogweed I think it might be called yeah so that wasn't too bad now I went when it's really hot weather of course you've got the dung from the horses, you've got horse flies. It's like running a gauntlet of gnats and flies, mosquitoes, everything. And they sometimes even come out on your video. Massive insects. So I carry it with me, I've got my repellent with me. But because they've opened it up a bit, it's a bit wider. I can see the odd insect flying. But um at the moment not like it can be because normally I'm walking a very narrow path like I was a bit back there and so they get you quicker but because they've cleared it a bit you don't get that so much that encroachment just sort of do a bit of along here even though I've done it hundreds of times but never on this date now what date do you reckon it is? Um, 
It could be a net 20. I think it might be the 25th today. 25th of May. FA Cup Day. Chelsea ladies won their Women's Super League in the week. Or last week. I watched that. That was good. Uh, that's a bit of silver. Um, there's some horses in that field. Sometimes they come over. Right across there. Same horses. Got a lovely field to wander in, haven't they? Lovely field. And look how much wider it is here. Much, much wider. Makes it much easier for the horses. And farmers, I suppose, if they want to go from one place to another. It is like an old drove, isn't it, this, really? God, they've cut all the corn down since I was here last. Oh, look at that. Not quite so sunny now. Photos won't be quite as good. No, no. Not now. Once the blue sky goes. Right, we're at the end of the bridle path. I had great fun over the winter negotiating this bit all the time. You couldn't walk here at all where I am now. I had to go right up, right up on the edge there. Yeah, it was difficult. But I come out here all year round. This is my place of peace, my place of reflection. A lot of the times it don't get shared. I, I share some. Yeah, I do. But some I've got loads that I just put on disc and... And they're, they're just there. They are visual diaries and reflective journals. I am going to be doing a timeline audio pod at some point. I might start it in the winter. Starting from my birth and working through. Right then, I'm going to turn off while I go down this road. And I'll come back on a bit later. <laughs>